हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जर्नी विद विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द टॉपिक सोयल हेल्थ कार्ड बिफोर प्रेजेंटेशन आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ आई एम विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव आई हैव डन एम एस एग्रीकल्चर विद स्पेशलाइज इन इकोनॉमी फ्रॉम जी बी पंत यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंत नगर इन नगर इन एंड प्रेजेंटली एसोसिएटेड विथ प्राइवेट जॉब इन सीड इंडस्ट्री सो लेट्स प्रोसीड टू द प्रजेंटेशन फर्स्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज सोयल हेल्थ कार्ड स्कीम सोयल हेल्थ कार्ड इज ए गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया स्कीम प्रोमोटेड बाय द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड कोऑपरेशन अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड फार्मर्स वेलफेयर इट इज बीइंग इंप्लीमेंटेड थ्रू द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर ऑफ ऑल द स्टेट एंड यूनियन टेरिटरी गवर्नमेंट सोयल हेल्थ कार्ड इज ए स्कीम launched by government of india on 19th february 2015 under the scheme the government plans to issue soil cards to farmers which will carry crop wise recommendations of nutrients and fertilizers required for the individual farms to help farmers to improve productivity through judicious use of inputs all soil samples are to be tested in various soil testing laboratories across the country thereafter the experts will analyze the strength and weaknesses of the soil and suggest measures to deal with it the result and suggestions will be displayed in the cards the government plans to issue the cards to 14 crore farmers on the day of launch the scheme was launched by prime minister at suratgarh in rajasthan now to go through focus on soil health card a soil health card is used to assess the current status of soil health and when used over time to determine changes in soil health that are affected by land management a soil health card card displays soil health indicators and associated descriptive terms the indicators are typically based on farmers practical experience and knowledge of local natural resources the card lists soil health indicators that can be assessed without the aid of technical or laboratory equipment a soil health card scheme is very beneficial to the farmers there are many farmers in india and they do not know which type of crops they should grow to get maximum yield basically they do not know the quality and the type of their soil they might know by experience that crops grow and what crops fail but they don't know what they can do to improve the conditions of the soil in such case the scheme of soil health card is very very important to the farmers to take the corrective measures to improve their soil conditions and get benefits of crop productivity here we have shown the flow chart for soil health card the soil sample is collected by agriculture supervisor or assistant agriculture officer from the farmer field the soil sample is tested at agriculture university or krishi vigyan kendra or soil testing laboratory at district level after testing the details are filled up in soil health card on the basis of that the farmers can apply right quantity of fertilizer and manures on soil test basis which will result in maintaining soil health saving money environmental protection and get more income so soil health card is playing very very vital role to support farmers regarding the utilization of need based fertilizers to be added to the soil here we will go through benefits of the soil health card because of soil health card there is monitoring of the soil of the farmers and give them a report so that they can decide which crop they should cultivate and which ones they should skip monitoring of the soil on a regular basis two times in a year and provide a report to the farmers so farmers need not worry if the nature of the soil changes due to certain factors and also farmers will have always be updated data about their soil 
फार्मर्स कैन स्टडी द सोयल मैनेजमेंट प्रैक्टिसेस एंड अकॉर्डिंगली दे कैन प्लान द फ्यूचर ऑफ देयर क्रॉप्स एंड लैंड बिकॉज ऑफ सोयल हेल्थ कार्ड वी कैन फाइंड आउट द टाइप ऑफ पार्टिकुलर सॉयल एंड देन प्रोवाइड वेज इन विच वी कैन इम्प्रूव इट इवन इफ ए सॉयल हैज सम लिमिटेशंस वी कैन डू समथिंग टू गेट द मोस्ट आउट ऑफ इट बाई अपडेटिंग सॉयल हेल्थ कार्ड वी कैन यूज इफिशियंट न्यूट्रियट मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम इम्प्रूवमेंट इन सॉयल हेल्थ बाई एनहेंसिंग वाटर यूज इफिशियंसी एंड फर्टिलाइजर यूज इफिशियंसी बाई द सॉयल हेल्थ कार्ड we can follow better management practices of agronomic practices and ultimately it is very very useful for enhancing the yield and preventing soil degradation now to study the objectives of soil health card scheme first objective the scheme aims at promoting soil test based and balanced use of fertilizers to enable farmers to realize higher yields at lower cost second objective aware growers about the appropriate amount of nutrients for the concerned crop depending on the quality of soil to promote soil test based nutrient management third objective to issue soil health cards to farmer every 3 years and provide a basis to address nutrient deficiencies in fertilization practices fourth to ensure additional income to farmers by increasing yields fifth objective to improve soil health for sustainable farming and sixth objective this scheme is aimed to help farmers to improve productivity through judicious use of inputs it would also lead to crop diversification in the country there are various government interventions to promote soil health card scheme extension activities like farmers training demonstrations on farmers field farmers mela and camps promotion of micronutrients and workshops are organized by state governments to enable quick soil sample testing and distribution of soil health cards the soil test infrastructure has been upgraded and soil testing labs have been sanctioned to the states Now we'll study about key features of soil health card. The government is planning to cover as many as all farmers under the scheme. The scheme will cover all the parts of the country. In the form of soil card, the farmers will get a report and this report will contain all the details about the soil of their particular farm. A farm will get the soil card once in every 3 years soil health card is a printed report that a farmer will be handed over for each of his holdings it will contain the status of his soil with respect to 12 parameters first one is nitrogen phosphorus and potassium which are macronutrients second is sulfur which is secondary nutrient zinc iron copper manganese boron which are micronutrients after that soil ph electrical conductivity and organic carbon which are the physical parameters based on this the soil health card will also indicate fertilizer recommendations and soil amendment required for the farm now to study the importance of soil health card scheme the card is a tool to help the farmer to monitor and improve soil health based on their own field experience and working knowledge of their soils the card which will carry crop wise recommendations of fertilizers required for farmlands will help farmers to identify health of the soil and judiciously use of soil nutrients the soil health card will contain an advisory based on the soil nutrients status of a farmer's hold holding it will show recommendations on doses of different nutrients needed further it will advise the farmer on the fertilizers and their quantities to be supply and also the soil amendments that he should undertake so as to realize 
optimal yields. Why there is need of soil health card scheme? Soil testing is developed to promote soil test based on nutrient management. Soil testing reduces cultivation cost by application of right quantity of fertilizers and to ensure additional income to farmers by increase in yields and also promotes sustainable farming. Now to study the implementation status of soil health card scheme. According to the National Productivity Council, the soil health card scheme has led to a decline of 8 to 10 percent in the use of chemical fertilizers and also raised productivity by 5 to 6 percent. As implementation status is concerned, 10.74 crore cards were distributed in cycle 1 from 2015 to 2017 and 11.74 crore cards were distributed in second cycle from 2017 to 2019. During 2019 to 20, land holding based 10.59 lakh cards were distributed under model village program. 429 aesthetic soil testing labs, 102 mobile testing labs, and 8752 mini labs have been sanctioned and 800 soil testing labs were strengthened. Soil testing capacity increased from 1.78 crore samples per annum to 3.33 per sample per annum. 5.5 lakh demonstrations, 1,946 farmers training, and 7,425 Kisan Melaj have been sanctioned for awareness creation amongst farmers. Soil testing under soil health card scheme. The state government will collect samples through the staff of their department of agriculture or through the staff of an outsourced agency. The state government may also involve the students of local agriculture or science colleges. The soil sample will be tested as per the approved standards for all the agri-12 parameters in the following way. First one, at the soil testing laboratories owned by the Department of Agriculture and by their own staffs. Second, at the soil testing laboratories owned by the Department of Agriculture but by the staff of the outsource agency. Third, at the soil testing laboratories owned by the outsource agency and by their staff. Fourth, at Indian Council of Agriculture Research Institutions including Krishi Vikas Kendra and State Agriculture Universities. Fifth, at the laboratories of the science colleges, universities by the students under supervision of professor and scientist. And sixth, a sum of rupees 190 per soil sample is provided to state governments. This covers the cost of collection of soil sample, its test, generation, and distribution of soil health card to the farmers. Now, soil sampling procedure. Ideal time for soil sampling. Soil samples are taken generally two times in a year after harvesting of rabi and kharif crops respectively or when there is no standing crops in the field. Now soil sample collection from a farmer's field. Soil samples will be collected by a trained person from a depth of 15 to 20 centimeters by cutting the soil in a V-shape. Cut a thin slice of 1 inch from one side of the hole. Collect the soil and put it in a clean bucket. It will be collected from four corners and center of the field and mixed thoroughly and a part of this picked up as a sample. Areas with shade will be avoided. The sample chosen will be bagged and coded. Then it will be transferred to soil testing laboratory for analysis. Now some key points related to soil health card scheme. The scheme will monitor the soil of the farmers well and give them a formatted report so they can decide well which crops they should cultivate and which one they should skip. 
The authorities will monitor the soil on a regular basis. Once in every three years, they will provide a report to farmers. So farmers need not worry if the nature of the soil changes due to certain factors. And also they will always have updated data about the soil. The work of the government does not stop at listing down measures required to improve the quality of the soil. In fact, they will also employ export to help farmers in carrying out the corrective measures. Farmers will get a proper soil health record thanks to the soil health card and also they can study the soil management practices. Accordingly, they can plan the future of their crop and land. Generally, in government schemes, the person carrying out the study for a particular farmer gets changed. But in the soil health card scheme, the government is paying attention that the same person carries out soil analysis for a farmer. This will further enhance the effectiveness of the scheme. The soil card will give the farmers a proper idea of which nutrients their soil is lacking and hence which crops they should invest in. They will also tell which farmers they need. So ultimately, the crop yield will see a rise. The main aim behind the scheme was to find out the type of the particular soil and then provide ways in which we can improve it. Even if a soil has some limitations, we can do something to get the most out of it. And that is what the government is trying to do with the help of this scheme. Other details related to soil health card scheme. The state government will collect samples through the staff of their department of agriculture or through the staffs of an outsource agency. The state government may also involve the students of local agriculture or science colleges. It will be made available once in a cycle of three years, which will indicate the status of soil health of a farmer's holding for that particular period. The soil health card given in the next cycle of three years will be able to record the changes in the soil health for that subsequent period. Soil samples will be drawn in a grid of 2.5 hectares in irrigated area and 10 hectares in a rain fed area with the help of GPS tools and revenue maps. So this presentation was all about soil health card scheme. Hope this will be useful to all of you. I have given here my YouTube channel details journey with Vijay Kumar Srivastava. Having request, please visit the channel, subscribe it and provide your kind and valuable feedback for further improvements. Thank you.